Good all right. You. Good to meet How you. How are you all doing? This is this is great. <clears throat> you know, having all four of you. Um, you know, a mixture of the crew and the cast. This is just great. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yes. so my fr- I'll give you a couple first impressions in the film. Um it started off with a bang. It, you like there was just conflict injected immediately, which really caught my attention. Um, I love the character Jasper. I just love everything about him. Um, the aesthetic of the film, the music, the color of the film, just you know the set decor just really put you in the 1980s, and it felt really like 1980-ish, like really early on. Um, just, I enjoyed the movie. When I sat down to watch it, I wasn't feeling very well at all. And then immediately dissipated. You know, mm. I forgot I was not feeling well because the movie was just, it just carried me through it. And it was, uh, it was great. And it, I know that Joe and Kyle, you, you, you co-wrote it, directed it together. And then always, um, I'm always fascinated by that because directing and especially writing can be so personal to just one person. Um, I just want to know how did that collaboration begin with the two of you? Um, Were you like, what brought both of you together on this project? We met recess 1996 (laughs) morning recess, sixth grade. um, And uh, I think bonded over music at the time, Um, probably anything from, from no doubt to Bush or something like that. But we've just been kind of creatively collaborating um since then and um you know luckily it's developed into this filmmaking uh thing so far and um you know i think we love filmmaking because it um, combines music and visuals and a lot of things we're interested in and things that um you know we we complement each other hopefully all right in yeah and as, as far as the writing specifically so we started writing together I think our first screenplay, uh, I don't know, eight to 10 years ago. And we, we really have developed, I think the system, you know, so then we would kind of come up with some ideas then we both kind of tangent on our own. And there was just a lot of drifting when you do that. So you take an idea that you think is good. All of a sudden you've written two pages of dialogue, you're attached to it. And then little did you know, you just took the plot a direction that was not great. So we, we really learned to check each other in those yeah. moments and have kind of refine the process of doing it together. So, um, you know, there were a lot of just various sessions where I'd have a road trip and Kyle would type and we just hit, you know, 10, 15 pages um, and vice versa. But we've always said if, if we're individual C pluses, maybe together we can get to a B minus if we stick at it every step of the way. That's you know it's it's an amazing it's an amazing process and I like I said I'm always fascinated by you know asking people exactly you know how they collaborate it's just so it's just so interesting to me was there any did you ever have like any serious disagreements on this project or did was you know someone have a particular vision in a certain particular scene over the other person we we really luck out that like aesthetically and just tonally like we have so much mutual overlap i think maybe it feels like we're like 80% the same and then like that the 20% where we're kind of different is good cuz maybe we're yeah. i i might get darker melodramatic or joe might get we'll go slightly quirky or I don't, whatever it is like i feel like we always like when we write together like joe said we always find that balance and um and hopefully i don't know maybe these actors could speak to it but i feel like on set we've you know i just developed a hopefully relationship that um doesn't really have much discord and we it seems like we're always on the same page luckily yeah you, you almost have to have a mutual respect for one another where it's like if i'm if i'm not impressing my my writing directing partner that i'm this clearly isn't that good of an idea you yeah. know so just check check your ego and you know if that's the person that you think is the most aligned with you creatively i mean we've fought for things in the past but um you know again it's just you, you just kind of trust that that partnership and john and sterling josh and trent loved you guys well, you guys yeah. were great um and but most of your scenes were were together. Um, can you, can each of you tell me what drew you into this particular role? Um, was there something in the script that resonated with each one of you? 
No, so, you want, oh, you're gonna be, I, I can go, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, Ryan, that's an interesting question. You know, you got me thinking before you weren't feeling well when you watched the movie. It'd be a good PR ploy. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey if you're not feeling well, watch this movie and you'll feel better. So, <laughs> uh, but in terms of what attracted me to the role, well, you know, it's a nice, juicy, complex role. And ooh, the art, you know, as, as an actor working in, in film, you know, that's why we love theater because you really get, you know, you, uh, with, with a nice big role, you get a big arc. Yeah, and this is with a film, you know? Uh, and I was saying, you know, I've done so many supporting roles and yeah. you know, Star Trek roles that, that I love the, the the complexity of this man, the the, the dark side and the light side. So uh, and um, yeah, so I don't know if I answered your question. I always go off on tangents. But... No, it's good you did. Yeah, I I, I suppose for me, um, one it's, it's working with with Kyle and Joe, and I, I I want I want to kind of jump back to something that you were referencing with those guys before. You know, this is the second project that I've done with them, and it's very interesting to have watched how they direct evolve mm -hmm. right their their own their own interpersonal communication um they they're 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 better at at that they weren't bad before but it's yeah. they're they're better at it now than they than they were before in the sense that you you get a sense of of th there's never anything that's really contradictory coming from 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 them you know, and you know that you can you can trust what what they're saying, and you know that they're going to, they're aware if 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 there is something that could be potentially contradictory, they work it out uh, between themselves first. You yeah. know, there's I've worked with other you know directing teams that that I mean it was the exact opposite. So so yeah, um, there's definitely um, there's 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 growth there. They they know how to do it together. Um, you know, for me, what attracted me to, to the role was, was, you know, the role itself, they, how it's written, who the character um, is, it's not the kind of role that I often um, um, am, am playing, it, there's, there, there's, there's something that is, I, I don't want to call Josh passive, but there's something more, um, um, um uh uh um circumflect about about him that that uh circuitous about his, his character and that there's there's not as many hard edges that I don't normally get 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 to do um and and then his his manner his demeanor it, how he speaks how these guys wrote him was was yeah. very very compelling and i always want to work with you know and i always talk about this i you want to work with people that you like you know independent film is is hard low budget independent film is even harder you know yeah. um um so if you're not working with people you like it's the worst experience and so it's it's great anytime these guys are are putting are back in their laboratory mixing some strange brew that they come up with as far as narrative, you know, and I want to I want to dive in with that. Yeah. Very good. And you had described independent film, you know, it can be rough. And was there anything um for Joe and Kyle, was there anything in this film, like in your script, that you couldn't get on film because of it was a time issue or a budgetary issue? That's we actually funny. wrote it knowing we were going to be very constrained. So um, I think we learned from our first feature, you know, some of the first drafts of that yeah. just had ridiculously ambition scene, uh, ambitious scenes. But I think we learned a lot in what constraints we'd have to work with. So I don't think anything was left on the page that we would have wanted in the film, although it was challenging to still execute a lot of it. And what would you say in this, in this picture was the most difficult thing you know, during the shoot, was there any particular scene that was just um, maybe it was just heavy dialogue or just just the scene itself? Was there anything that was really difficult? One particular moment that I remember that, that involved the four of us. Um, there was a scene in the garage. I think it's when um, Trent's care uh, when Trent uh, takes the the prototype synthesizer from Josh 
and Josh is just discovering that it's gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, the four of us, you know, struggled initially with that a little bit. Um, but, you know, I think all just collaborated well and kind of came to an agreement that like, all right, what's, what's tough is there's so many words here. And what am I, you know, for Sterling was like, well, how am I supposed to react when John is saying all these words? And anyway, we kind of realized like, oh, we just overwrote this. So that was one of the moments where we, you know, stripped probably at least half the dialogue away yeah. and really simplified it. And these two gentlemen were absolutely amazing and pivoting with that and just being able to roll with it and um you know i think it ended up being a you know much much shorter and hopefully better scene agreed it did come out well because when it's when the camera shows that it's missing you i remember i just went like oh it's gone you know and then you you know and then you know sterling's character you're just he just so he was so nice still and so you could tell he was devastated like where'd it go and he's just so soft and just and just nice and just it, I think it was played out very well. That's One a, other that's element. Good. <laughs> that's good because that's I haven't seen it yet. So, <laughs> so um, 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 yeah, that was a that was a challenging moment. Yeah, because so much of the characters, you know, all of who the character is is invested in in that, in, in, you know, in that prototype and in yeah, in, it's a big part of his life. Yeah, yeah, it's just um, um. And is there anything, uh, I'll start with you, Joe, is there anything you're working on? Uh, anything coming up? Yeah, Kyle and I uh, are, are on to the next. So we have uh, going to place, take place in the 90s on an animal sanctuary where a uh, couple has uh, found reprieve from some trouble with the law. Okay. And they've you know, taken up working positions in the sanctuary. Um, unfortunately, a small string of animal murders is going to threaten their anonymity and that's kind of where we are at this point you're good and then uh sterling are you working on anything right now yeah yes um i got a a directing project um coming up here uh based on this book called liz here now it's a period piece takes place in 1967 about um uh a, a, a black maid in Oakland who 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 discovers um, that the family that she's she's working for um, are, are are abusing the their children and 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 what she the link she has to go to 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 see if anything can be done. Yeah, very good. And you and you've directed before, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's this this will be the third third feature. Do you yeah. prefer to be in front of the camera or or behind? Um, you know that's I. Whenever that question is asked <laughs> of me, it depends on what I'm doing at the time. Yeah. If I'm in front of the camera, I say behind. If I'm behind the camera, I say in front. Right. I, I, I I I. It's hard to separate what what those two things are because they're both storytelling. Yeah. This, I just like to tell story and be involved in storytelling. And I think, I think that's what I'm discovering about myself. Yeah. Yes. Then John, how about you? How about me? Oh boy. <laughs> well, I have a self tape audition I have to do uh, this afternoon. Uh, <laughs> later. So, yeah, don't get me started on self tape. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or, but uh but i'm i'm also i'm doing a performance i i wrote i workshopped it in new york in november and i'm going to be doing it this august and uh awesome. uh researching the life of beatrice lily who was this uh iconic song stylist from the 30s and creating a piece based around her called there are fairies at the bottom of our garden so <laughs> wish me luck. That's awesome. that sounds like fun you brought up an interesting point about the self tapes i know it kind of i mean everything's kind of shifted more towards you know self tapes or a zoom yeah. you know you don't have the in person anymore so it really you kind of lose a little bit i know it's convenient but you do well know, it's kind of yeah you know it's the paradox of it all i mean yes uh it's convenient and we can do you know as many take you know it's all about attitude i tend to go oh fuck but it, it's you know it's like a master class you know we get to tape ourselves and we get to look at it and you know and yeah. step outside uh, as an ob objective observer and you know hopefully improve the performance yeah. what i miss uh, is that you know when you used to go into a room I could, you could charm them. They could give yeah, you an yeah. adjustment. 
And then yeah. maybe you were up against, you know, 10 other guys, but now you're up, you know, 300 self tapes. I don't know how many self tapes, but I have a feeling assistants are looking at these eh, next, next, next. You yeah. Know, it's, yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. You can't dazzle anybody in the room anymore. Right. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys certainly dazzled me with this film. Oh. I really appreciate oh, yeah. talking to the four of you. Um, the best of luck, you know, just, I know it's the industry can be nuts sometimes, but um, hopefully, you know, dead mail, just hopefully people see what I saw and I'm, I'm sure they, I'm sure they will. Mm. Well, really Thank you so much, Ryan. I look forward to watching more of your stuff in the future. And hopefully we can talk again on your next projects and uh, have a wonderful day. And thanks again. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, oh, thanks, thanks, man. You. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Take care.